Hey, it's Rake here with a little What's New video. Uh, I've owned the forum now for about four years, which is pretty cool. Uh, YouTube channel's about to hit 40,000 subscribers. Uh, we recently just upgraded our forum uh, to Zen402. It's got a bunch of great features. It's got a pretty slick, dark theme here. We, uh, we just got to, we're about to hit 94,000 members, which is real exciting. Uh, and I've been kind of going through the forum and compiling all of our good information into these little guides so that you guys can find the information you need much faster. Um, first I want to show you is uh, we've kind of got this Stack Overflow style plugin now called Questions and Answers. Basically, so any of your posts can be a question and uh, any members can upvote and downvote the posts and we can even mark them as the best answer and then these posts get shot to the top that way when you're searching for for you know solution to a problem you're gonna get that answer as soon as possible uh want you to waste this little time on the forum and find exactly what you need so with that we've also been making these little guides like i said oh we've also got some pretty slick uh syntax highlighting and made a bunch of little guides here this is uh, like a start here beginner's guide to learning game hacking uh, because the forum is has so much crap on it it's really hard to stay focused and find ex a really good starting point you know so I put together a list here it's a step-by-step -step guide for beginners uh, if you do each one of those steps after you're done with step 10 you're basically gonna be able to hack any game without anti-cheat uh, so I think this gives you like uh, every week knock one or two of these things off your list and then you'll be ready to hack any game you want. Now, next question is, well, how do we hack any cheat? Well, I've been putting together some guides about that as well. This is just our basic how to get started with anti-cheat bypass guide. Now, there's no actual like bypass source codes in here that you're going to use, but it basically spells out exactly what the anti-cheats are doing. Um... You know, most of it's just anti-debug, and, and after that, there's some heuristics, there's some signature detection, and some other wizardry. So, if you follow this guide, it's going to basically spell exactly what you need to learn, what the anti-cheats are doing, and just some basic information that's going to get you, you know, started. Uh, bypassing anti-cheat is not something that's easy, so you got to start small and learn the anti-debug stuff. I do have some source codes on bypassing the most basic ones, and then uh, a lot of links to good parts of the forum that have more information and, and a couple of videos. Again, I've compiled all the information into these one threads and to get you started. Uh, now, everyone wants to bypass Falc, uh, VAC. Now, the basic thing here is write all your code from scratch, don't share it with anyone, and you're going to be like 95% safe. If you want to be 99% safe, then you really need to personally reverse VAC completely and figure out exactly what it's doing. But for the average person, it's just not necessary because they're not going after individual cheat developers. They're going after people that sell cheats and people that, uh, that share the cheats publicly. You know, they're not going to spend time reversing your cheat and making sure it's a 100%, you know, confirmed hack and then banning you. Uh, so in that way, you know, as long as you write the code yourself and you're the only one using it, you're going to be fine. Uh, so there's a ton of information here about fact. Some of it's a little old, um, but still, you know, I must read if you're concerned about that kind of stuff. Um, I also uh, posted a new video. Uh, Valve actually made this presentation about using uh, machine learning uh, with their, like, for their heuristics for detecting if people are cheating. And, and that's a really interesting one. So I think we're going to see more ban waves in the future uh, using that technology. You know, it's uh, next link I'll show you. Uh, Zine code is another anti cheat that everyone is trying to bypass. We get so many questions about it; it's really obnoxious, actually. Uh, but I compiled everything you need to know uh, that we have posted on the forum, and. There's even uh, a couple source codes here that actually still work. Now, there's three different 
kind of classifications of games that use Zine code. There's just uh, basic Zine code that uses, uh, it's basically just process protection using anti-debug. Um, then there's a second class of games that are using the Zine, regular Zine code, and then they're using some custom manual game-specific protections and detections. And then there's a third one where they're, they're using Heartbeat, which is much harder. Uh, if they're using Heartbeat, uh, you basically have to emulate the Heartbeat which sounds like a real pain in the ass to me. And so, ton of information on Zion Code here. Definitely check it out. Brohan hooking us up, as always, with some good information. Next thing, again, another anti-cheat thing, because it seems to be all people ever want to know, um, which is really naive, when 99% of our members like, don't even know how to use Cheat Engine. Now... The next thing is uh, polymorphic code. Um, seeing that you know 99% of detections that any cheats are using are based on signature detection, so they're basically just using pattern scanning to find known hack uh, byte arrays. So what you can do is make your hack using a polymorphic code engine every single time the game runs, or at least on every compile, it's going to it's going to change the assembly in a way where the signatures no longer match. Um, there's a lot of information here, and uh, one thing I want to point out is uh, junk code. You know, adding a bunch of just a random code to your project is not going to bypass signature detection because if, if a signature is 10 bytes and your junk in your junk code is not in is not like injected inside of those 10 bytes, it's still going to detect those 10 bytes. Whether there's junk code above it and below it, those 10 bytes are still going to be detected. So, yeah, it's going to change your file hash. It's it's going to change the hash of the memory. Uh, so you're going to bypass those detections. But SIG, SIG scanning, you're not bypassing anything. You literally need to change ev almost every single assembly instruction. And so I kind of go into this a little bit. Like, what if this was your... Uh, this is your regular, your original version of the assembly, right? And then th here's some things you can do that are not going to change the output of the assembly, but are going to bypass uh, the detection. I like this one where you just inject a NOP every other instruction, which isn't very efficient, but, you know, who the hell knows? That that may work in certain instances. Um, so there's certain instructions that you can use that aren't going to change the stack, aren't going to change the flags, but they're going to change the signature of that code, and then you'll be able to bypass it. So those are just some really easy ideas that you could implement uh, with polymorphic code. So I think that's a really interesting topic, but definitely not something you know for a noob to, to get into. But uh, Leduen here, he actually has some source code with the inline assembler macro, some other cool stuff. I think Momda posted some shit too. Um... But anyways, hey, I want to make this video short just to tell you what's going on. Please come check us out on the forum if you haven't been here recently. Uh, there's also a bunch of different new uh, new ways to donate. Uh, there's three different tiers for regular accounts now. You can donate $5 and upgrade. You can donate $10 and upgrade. If you've already upgraded your account and you still want to donate, you can always do it via PayPal. Uh, you can donate with almost any cryptocurrency. Please PM me. You can also become our Patreon. Uh, patron on patreon so i'm gonna link to all these things in the description uh keep your eye out i am working on two videos and so hopefully you'll be seeing those in the next couple week weeks peace guys